Kate. Kate. Who are you? My poor Kate. You no longer recognize your real family. You need to come home now. You have to listen to your mother. Yes, you must see that we are having great difficulty understanding how such a brilliant young attorney could turn to criminal activity. We have taken recourse to the courts, Miss Walker. Rest assured, things will not remain as they are. You really need to understand, Kate. I couldn't wait for you forever. You've really let us down, Kate. I was your best friend. You're confident. So in the end, everyone was actually right. You're gone forever, Kate. Lost. You're dead, Kate. Dead. Kate Walker? Is everything all right? I... yes. But I need some air. Please, let's go outside. Are you sure you're well? I don't mean to offend you, but for a moment you were in a different world, Kate Walker. Ghosts. Nothing but ghosts. Right. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna try to get some sleep for a few hours before dawn. I'll wait for you here. Then, good night, Kate Walker. Good night, Oscar. Courts, Miss Walker. We've had recourse to the courts. I was your best friend, Kate. You're dead, Kate. Dead. Kate. Miss Walker. Kate. Kate Walker. My poor Kate. Kate Walker. This time, you won't fool me with your little tricks. I don't believe it! I just don't believe it! Damn jalopy! No, oh, just great. Kate Walker, time to wake up. All is well, Kate Walker. It is all over. Thank you, Oscar. But, Canton, did you see him? See for yourself. He is just over there. Is he...? He is fine. Please don't worry. Let's just say that he won't be chasing you again for quite some time. Now we should go. Your nomad friends are ready and waiting for us.
tell me, Oscar. Last night, when I was taken, what happened? I mean, how did you find us, and how did you get me free? Hmm. It's actually a long story, Kate Walker. Kirk says we'll only get to the border tomorrow. I have lots of time. <sighs> Very well. I suppose that you can still remember the end of that strange nomad ceremony? Yes. I didn't feel well, and you came outside with me. That's right. You left to go to bed for the night, and we agreed that we would meet at the same place at dawn. I was gone. Well, at dawn then. And of course you were late. Were you worried right away? I'm touched, Oscar. Hmm. Uh, well, yes. Of course. The sun is already high in the sky and Kate Walker has not returned. Hmm. Incorrigible. Let's wake her before she delays the entire caravan. Someone has attacked Kate Walker. She must be found, quickly. Hello, Oscar. Have you found Kate Walker? We're waiting for her so we can strike the camp. No. But I fear the worst. I found traces of a struggle in her yurt. We must go find her quickly. What do you suggest, Mr. Kirk? I'm going to ask the tribe to look for Kate Walker. The ostrich keeper will lend you a Yuki to use. It can be a great help. They have an incomparable sense of smell. Was the Yuki Kirk told you about of any use? <sighs> you really have no idea. <laughs> Hello, my young friend. I have been told the most wonderful things about your olfactory capabilities. Powerful be the spirits with her. You didn't have trouble getting a Yuki to obey you? No, none. You must find Kate Walker. Come on, let's go. Seek now. Seek, find Kate Walker, do you hear? Wait for me! I think... That you may just need some help. 
It's lucky I left my old scarf in the end. You should really have taken far greater care of your belongings all the same. Even though I find, I must admit, it did eventually prove to be useful. Wait for me! She's in there. Well done, creature. They are blocked from the inside. What is it? You certainly know how to be helpful.
Oh. Kate Walker. I have no recollection of that, Oscar. I'm not surprised. You had apparently been drugged. It was also apparent that the private detective kept the keys to your bonds on his person. Is that when you got the idea to use the chandeliers? Oh no. That came much later, Kate Walker. At that precise moment, I developed the first draft of my plan. Seek the keys in your attacker's pocket. After all, I do not know of any problem that a gentlemanly discussion cannot resolve, in normal times at any rate. I see. Jalopy! Excuse me, sir? Uh, yes? I'm a friend of Kate Walker's, and I believe I understand that you wish to leave with her. That's right. I have a warrant for her arrest. Not that that's something a uh, robot like you would understand. As soon as my vehicle's fixed, we're going to the States. I'm an automaton, and alas, I am unable to permit you to do such a thing, so I must ask you to please set her free and attend to any other duties you might have, and rest assured we shall do the same. Or else what, you pile of bolts? No way I'm letting her go. You got that in that rusty kettle of yours? Because of her, I've crossed half the planet, been hit by blizzards and wild animals, and she almost got me thrown in jail in Valsambor. If you refuse to permit Kate Walker to leave, I feel I have the obligation to inform you that I shall be obliged to employ certain violent and underhanded methods. I'd love to see that. Get out of here or I'll turn you into a pile of spare parts. Mm, very well, if that is your wish, sir. And that's when you decided to take out Canton with the chandeliers? Patience, Kate Walker. You know that the success of that type of operation requires careful planning and method. I therefore first found myself in need of a place propitious for the implementation of a new plan. I observed that with only very slight assistance, a portion of the ceiling would collapse on your attacker. A train from the station could then open hostilities. F times D. QED. The ceiling would then be on the point of giving way, but it still required an essential piece. The target. Because, no doubt, Mr. Canton would not dare to venture beneath such a ramshackle building without having a very good reason. So I decided I needed the right bait to attract him to the most opportune spot. then required was to finalize things by demonstrating the exactness of Newton's second law. I believe that we should go on our way again. What? But that's it? Well, yes, Kate Walker. That doesn't make sense. When I came to, Canton was underneath the chandelier that had fallen from the ceiling. Oh, is that what is bothering you? 
Well, let's just say that my plan evolved as it became more concrete. Nothing that is really worth mentioning, believe me. <sighs> Come on, what is the problem now? Nothing. It's just that... I was expecting a more breathtaking ending, to be honest. Well, if this might serve as a moral to my tale, Cade Walker, the proof that a plan is indeed well designed is that it is executed without a hitch. It lets you efficiently gain what is usually lost over the course of time. You must always have a plan, you know. I... I guess so, yes. Anyway, thank you for the story, Oscar. I'm gonna sleep now. I want to be in good shape for when we get to the border. Good night. Good night, Kate Walker. That was a well-oiled plan. Let's just hope that Kate Walker will take good note of it. Impossible to enter the car, but I have to be able to start it from a distance. Illegible. It is nonetheless obvious that these are the controls used for starting the car. No time to lose. It doesn't work. So that isn't the control used to start the train. Only the result has any real meaning, I guess. Time to free Kate Walker now. I need to have the keys to free her. Don't say I didn't warn you. He's breathing, but when he wakes up, we will be far away.
Kate Walker, time to wake up. All is well, Kate Walker. It is all over. Thank you, Oscar. But, Canton, did you see him? See for yourself. He is just over there. Is he... He is fine. Please don't worry. Let's just say that he won't be chasing you again for quite some time. Now we should go. Your nomad friends are ready and waiting for us. Thank you so much, Oscar. But you're right. We have to leave here as soon as we can. Meet me at the entrance as soon as you're done. Come on, Oscar. I need that key that Canton has. A plan must always have a plan. 